We're uh, we were working on Coco, and one of the the dew claws has grown into the uh, the nail, uh, into the pad. So the nail grew into the pad. This one is fine on this side. So we're just gonna get in there and cut it just like a regular nail. Okay. Now on this side, here, this one. They waited too long or it didn't get trimmed last time. And it's done grown around and grown right into that pad. Okay, so it's very important to keep an eye on these toenails. Um, so I could sit there and cut the hair back, but my biggest thing is I want to get that nail out of there because it hurts. All right, so we're going to do that. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. And then we're going to take some peroxide on a cotton ball or whatever you may have juice it up and clean it out and that's going to kill everything so initially we you know peroxide or iodine will kill all your germs okay so we're going to kill all these germs that are in here and now while that's kind of drying i'm going to get this hair off I know, and that way we can treat it and it can close up. So I'm going to treat it just like a scratch or something else. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. You're fine. I know. I'm sorry. Life is hard. So of course it's bleeding because it's a little hole and it's swollen. Doesn't look like there's really much. There's infection in there, which is a good thing. Alone. Okay, so that was in there pretty deep. You look in here. I was in there all the way up there. Poor girl. Poor kid. All right, now it, it kind of coagulated on its own. So you got a, you got a bunch of options, but I typically use colloidal silver. Uh, I also like Vetricin. That's a very good product. Um, I'm going to use collodial silver on it. Now, once you peroxide it, you don't peroxide it again because it'll kill all the good tissue. So we're just putting a little collodial silver on there, and that also kills funky, and it's going to assist it in, um, in healing.